BYD Fi is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens, and copy the trades of top traders. If you sign up with the link in the description, you get a $300 when you deposit $100. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange, as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a think about how we're going to move into next week because Sunday is usually pretty... Well, they're lame, aren't they? Yeah, but so is crypto at the moment. Crypto is lame. So looking at the four hourly just very briefly on Bitcoin, then we'll move into a bit more of a broader view of what's probably or most likely going to happen, I'd say, um, in uh, other markets. So at the moment, we're creeping up in is effectively a very small and shallow channel, really. Um, rising channels do have a habit of breaking down, I have to say that, obviously. So we're in this form of channel. Um, we're above a Bollinger Band Center at the moment. Momentum seems okay, but we are approaching in quite quickly to be fair uh, a death cross on exponential moving averages simple moving averages not so much um that exponentials are, are basically about to happen so that that is not particularly friendly for a chart but it hasn't happened yet um we still have the avoided death cross here on the daily which is good and you're basically avoid that if we would just start closing above 27,000 again and um, looking at the momentum on the daily is a different kind of story uh, it's not one of up <laughs> upwards momentum at all it's basically sideways and down if anything so th there is invalidation criteria for both of this so we've got the channel which the channel a breakout to the upper the channel guess what 27,000 uh, breakdown from the channel uh, 26,700 and we've got this 50 exponential around 26,650 50. So, you know, tight range, really, looking for it to break one way or another. You can, uh, to be fair, you can get pretty bullish on Bitcoin. If you start closing above 27,300, I'd be looking for a, uh, a move back up to 28 and then probably up beyond there, really. So, but right now we're stuck in a range. Um, it's neither particularly bullish or bearish. It's static. It can move around in, in this area. It can even wick around in this area and still get, get itself back into this little bit. So, it's not very convincing. But, you know, that said, I still believe in what I said yesterday about this potential uh, alt rally. I know some people always take offence when you call it an alt season. It's not really likely to be what people consider to be alt season um, because it wouldn't last for that long. But, but yeah, Ethereum, we worked out, you know, if it were to bounce from here, it could, could pose a decent move, you know, maybe 15% or something like that. And the Bitcoin dominance chart, as we saw as well, was uh, was being rejected from a 20 Sorry, a 200 weekly moving average and exponential. So that's all quite good and for possible upside on altcoins. And again, yeah, take it with a pinch of salt and don't get too greedy. If it works, it works. We're not looking for massive continuation. Right, <clears throat> broader spectrum. This is the US 10-year yield. I think the Fed has finished raising rates now and they're just going to allow for everything to work itself out, right? And this looks like it could have peaked to be to be honest with you, this is the 10-year uh, yield peaking roughly around this 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 area up here, right, 4.4.9 4 more or less, coming down to support. Uh, if the um, if the Fed have stopped and this is uh, the uh, the peak of rate hike then you would be looking for this to come down. And if this comes down, uh, we'll be looking for either a move into cash or a continuation back into stocks. And um, if we move over to stocks, um, where are we? That's, there we go. If we look over into stocks, we've got a symmetrical triangle, uh, managed to hold above a Bollinger Band. It's a 50-50 scenario, really, um, above the 200 simple moving average on the daily and right in the middle. So this could open up up or down, but basically hang around in this zone. We could probably trade within here before we break out. Given the overall momentum of the moving averages, which are still continuing up on the higher term time frames. So there is more likelihood of the breaking out than breaking down, but again, you're in a formation, it's more or less 50-50. There's an argument on both sides, but it's not a bad looking chart. It's definitely tradable, even within the formation. Um, and you'll be looking at this formation to break one way or another. And if the Dixie starts going down, yields start going down, there's a more like it's more likely that this will break out. Uh, even if you know the the world is being circled by black swans at the moment and um, oil obviously uh moving up as a result of what's going on in the middle east and um, possible rejection around 88 other than that we'll be looking for a rejection around 93 and we'll see what happens there might be some intervention to be uh, from uh, from the uh, from america about creating more supply 
And goals, super huge, epic, massive move right into a 200 simple moving average um, where you'll probably see a pullback maybe uh, to the bottom of the range. So hopefully staying above 19, really, uh, and then continuing on from there. Sounds crazy, but new, local and possible all-time high is on the cards. So with all of this, you know, it does favor, you know, crypto, Bitcoin moving up. Or this entire scenario in traditional markets, outside of, I suppose, the oil scenario, unless supply gets, um, you know, some some supply is, is, <laughs> is found in America and they, they decide to churn out more oil, which there is rumors of, that would obviously bring oil price down. Outside of the oil scenario and the energy scenario, everything else does point to, you know, upside. So, you know, that should flow into the idea that crypto should go bullish. Um, again, it's short-term time frames here, like I say, you know, four hourlies and dailies looking for invalidation for both bulls or bears. But, you know, when in doubt, zoom out. And what do we see over here? Currently, we can't get massively bullish until we're above 28,000, which is exactly where we were rejected. A 20 moving average, and just above that is a 200 simple. Um, we can't get particularly bullish on major continuation upside uh, for a longer period of time until we're above 28,000. Arguably, 28,500 would be perfect. We'll be back up into this range, and then incrementally we'll start making strides more and more and more. Now, I can't really say that that's going to happen today or tomorrow or next week, but over time, that's basically what's going to happen. And so if you think about dollar cost averaging into crypto, into Bitcoin specifically, yeah, this is absolutely, certainly uh, not the bottom. No one catches the bottom, but it's close enough in comparison to where we think we're going to go. When all these areas start getting taken out, especially this one, you'll see a big spike up, probably similar to the way that it moved in 2014, a big spike up, and maybe we'll consolidate more dramatically at that point. And probably even finding a new um, higher low on the higher term timeframes. You might even spike up into the 40s and consolidate back down to the 30s, which again, yeah, that's absolutely what Bitcoin likes to do. That is the range that we'd be playing in between forty and um, and twenty thousand dollars. So we're close enough to that twenty thousand dollars right now. So dollar cost averaging into this area is the smart thing to do, taking your time. I hear that the grayscale spot ETF is more or less uh, a done and dusted deal. Um, so that's going to take a lot of Bitcoin off the market, which will increase the price. So you might as well think about it from a long term perspective. It's sideways, it's boring, it's really not doing anything of any significance or it's, not, it's certainly not exciting uh, to trade Bitcoin right now. But to accumulate it at this point right now, it seems like the best thing to do for everybody. Altcoins, well, that's your, <laughs> you know, no altcoin is created equal, so it's up to you how you decide to play that market. But for, you know, for the larger caps uh, and the more uh, utility driven uh, tokens, definitely, 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 definitely do it. Right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.